Okay, so here we are with the latest addition to Grandpa Marvin's firewood making machines. This is actually a crane for lifting bigger blocks up onto the splitter because he can't do it anymore. I can, but this is a lot easier and this will allow him to split wood by himself. So I bought a junk trailer off of somebody, which is actually the back half of a running gear with some kind of old, old, old truck axle bolted on. Went ahead and bought the trailer, took all the stuff off that he had on there, built the subframe, put down this base plate that is actually the wheel off of a semi. And then up here is actually the axle, so it uses the wheel bearings. I had a machine shop true that up, weld a big plate on it, and then I welded my crane on that I made out of scrap that I bought from work. It's like three by four square tubing. Put a jack on it off of a cherry picker, but already I can tell that if this works, what we'll do is take that off and just put a piece of square tube in there and we'll just always have the beam that high. Got a handy battery box. Put that on there. And then here we have the battery and the radio remote and that's a, a chain drawer and you wanna chain it tight so it doesn't swivel and the handle for the jack. I put the battery up on the crane part of it that way it can swing 360 degrees. There's nothing to wrap up when you turn it. Got a little Harbor Freight winch, little 2,500 pounder. Got a wireless remote. Welded one trailer jack on the tongue. Pretty much what you want to do is get it level side to side as best you can and then you can level it front to back with that jack. Then I had to put on four outriggers, one on either side and two at an angle out the back for stability. I got some eye bolts on there. That's where you chain the, the arm down when you want to transport it. The only thing that I cannot find is a two and a quarter dust cap. This is like an old 1930s pickup truck axle. So if anybody has any of them laying around, let me know. So, put the cover back on. Set the phone down here for a second. And of course, the third time I go to use it, the rubber snubber breaks. Perfect. All right, well, that's what happens when you use junk. So just got the winch coming out, pulling on the end. Of course, I had to bring my scale along to find out what we're doing here. I tested it at home. It can lift 400 pounds and swivel it around. These tongs weigh 16 pounds by themselves. <laughs> There's some pretty big ones. So we could actually come down to a snatch block and double it back up here. That's gonna lift your, or double your lifting power but it's also gonna make it tip over twice as easy. I put another handle back here in case we wanna lift something really heavy. You just lift closer. And actually, if we would leave this hook to the tractor, I don't know about the gator, but if we would leave this hook to the tractor and have all that weight, I think you could lift a lot from straight out the back. So the ultimate goal is, here is bring the logs home, cut them up right here on the loader of the tractor, do it standing up, get all the blocks here, and then he can just reach over here, pick them up with the tongs. We're gonna set the wood splitter somewhere right here, probably right where this block is. He can set the blocks onto the wood splitter, split them right here, stack them up. We'll see if it works, but, so, of course, we're going to start with the biggest one because the go big or go home 
And all we're gonna do, I don't know, I don't have three hands to do this. Just hold the button until the light turns on. There we go. Now, oh, finally have that third hand to hit the button. Trying to get them tongs to bite. Well, that's gonna be an issue. This is kind of an odd shaped one got a, another branch on it. Let me set this down for one second. There, let's try that. Hmm, interesting. All right, let me try this again. I don't have enough hands. Boy, that is some hard wood. I gave it a good kick on either side. Let's see if that does it. Yeah. No, where are we going here? So this is probably one of the bigger blocks and that says 315. So you figure the tongs are about 20 pounds, so like I said, I tested it for, to 400, but maybe we can lift her all the way up to there. The trouble with lifting up wood is now it can fall on you. So I told him to just stay outside here. Don't go in there where you can trip over blocks and outriggers and everything. And you just swing it over here. And we should be able to set it on the wood splitter where it will meet its demise. Now we set this up really quick, it is not level, and that's a problem, and here's why. So, we need to get it level, or put the wood splitter down in the, at the low spot, and it'll always go that way. So there. That's what that thing is for. Now Grandpa Marvin, you know, even if he splits four blocks of wood a day or whatever, you know, it'll, he can work at it all summer and not break his back. Another thing that we can use it for is, you know, we got these lugs sitting here waiting to be cut up. I grabbed out here on the end. It was only about 250 pounds. Grab it on the end, shove a block underneath. You can cut off one, two, three, four, five, six. So, hopefully we get a lot of use out of it. I think that just about rounds out all the equipment we need for a little easier firewood making, but next week I'll come up with something else. You gotta be kidding me. There you go. So there you go. Another machine made out of junk to make our lives a little easier. <laughs>